Okay, well, we had a winner. Pretty much an overwhelming winner. 75% vote for the Hanabao 2 German Flying Saucer. So, we're going to do a quick inbox review of it. And then we're going to set up to uh, discuss the plans. And then next video we'll start working. So first off, gorgeous box art. Really nice looking box. In fact, looking at the box art, I think um, that's going to be our diorama. I think we're going to make this out of the kit. So we'll have the kit landed, all the gear down. We'll have some supplies, some officers, some pilots. We're going to do the whole thing in a hangar. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, okay, so this is Squadron Models um, Hanabao 2. I'm going to figure out how to pronounce this properly. It's Hanabao or Hanabu. I'll have to look it up. Um, bought this kit at Wonderfest this past year. So, a little bit of imagery. Oh, we got some pictures on the side. Good looking landing gear. Let's see. More box art there. Oh. Let's see. We got some information uh, talking about the SS Order of the Black Sun developed alternative energies. Um, involvement of the Thule and made a UFO. So, this is one of the Foo Fighters and part of the Thule Society and I'm betting it probably uses Vril technology. And if you're not familiar with that, watch the quote-unquote History Channel and you'll get to learn all about Nazis UFOs along with aliens and um, the other things that belong on the History Channel. Not that I have any uh, comment on the History Channel. No, I do. It's not the History Channel. Oh, let's see what we got in the box. We got some lovely... Ooh, these are nice. We got some really nice instructions with... Ooh. Good layout. There's our painting guide. We are definitely going to be doing a splinter pattern on this. This thing looks great with a splinter pattern. Some lovely decals. Oh, looks like some guns and landing gear. Yep. Two sets of that. Two sets of turrets. This is the engine here. Ooh, cockpit. Man tower, upper dome. There's a lot of nice detail on this. I do mean nice detail. Oh, this is gonna weather beautifully. Everybody stay up here. Come on. Uh, two. So it gives you an idea. How big this baby's gonna be. That is a sizable aircraft. So, yeah, that's that's pretty nice right there. Alright, that's gonna be fun. And a lot of little clear parts. I'm guessing these are the cockpit windows. Looks like they gave you a lot of extra. I think there's only 
That's interesting. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eighteen windows. Yeah, they gave you about six extra windows. So if you lose some or cloud them up or scratch them, hey, you got six extras. That's nice. Uh, bottom dome, top dome. The top domes you can leave removable. So we'll be able to see the interior of the flight deck. This is the bottom of the saucer. Yeah, we're going to be doing... Okay, so let's leave that. Put a few of these things back in here. So, so far what I have seen is some very crisp very nice detail work. This this is really exquisite. I like this a lot. Looks like it was well worth the money I spent. Let's not tell the wife, shall we? No, I'm joking. She knows when I buy model kits. Oh, all right. So everybody's back in there, nice and neat for now. Okay. So let's talk about. What what I plan to do with this kit. Alright. I plan to go a little a little all out with this one. So this is gonna be a long project. Probably several, several videos are gonna be entailed in this one. But I like I said, I want to go all out. We're gonna make a diorama. So I'm going to need to get some uh, 172nd scale German uh, air crew officers and flight crew, ground crew. I want to light all of the control panels. So I'm going to be picking up some LEDs, some uh, slow change LEDs and some solids and we'll run fiber optics to control lights and everything like that. The engine. Now, I recently saw on a YouTube channel, someone did a build of this, and they recast the engine in clear resin and then lit it from the inside. That looked awesome. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Um, I'll put a link to their video in the description uh, below this video so you can see it. But um, So they did um, a two-part resin cast where it was exactly like... Oh, let's, let's pop some of these open. Where are you? There you are. Time to change the blade. Good word of advice. Never ever work with a dull blade. You get cut more often by a dull blade than you ever will by a sharp blade. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's true. The reason is, the dull blade you try to force, you work harder to cut and it'll slip and cut you. A sharp blade you don't have to force it does all the work and it's, that's the way it is so what the other gentleman did was he took these two engine halves here and he did castings of both halves just like it is this way now and then he put both resin cast pieces together you know glued them together and then put holes in the bottom to light the whole thing I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make a solid cast. And the reason being, I don't want to have an inclusion through the center where there's a line where the two pieces meet. So I'm going to do a solid casting of this. And then I will drill holes into the bottom to insert the lights and cause it to diffuse and glow. Then I'm going to detail this engine up a little bit more. Um, so that's the plan there. And then with the 
flight deck. <laughs> See, I told you. Dull knife. Now, with the flight deck, I'm going to see if I can't bring this up into some detail here. Hopefully, uh, we're all focused in, but you can see this has some really nice detail in there. So, my plan is to actually use my pin vise and drill out a bunch of these light, where the light die out, where the, oh, screen styles readouts would be and then I'm going to run fiber optics from the bottom in glue them in place cut them down and attach them to yellow red green blue glowing lights the kind that strobe um, between colors and a few solid lights so that we got some solid lights we got some color changing lights that sort of thing so that'll be the big part of this project is lighting. And then, we've got the engine deck here. Now also in the video that I'm gonna link to, there's a key made a connection between the upper deck and the lower deck to the uh, loading platform and he did that by cutting a hole in the deck to make like an elevator shaft I might even do that that sounds like a great idea add some uh, visual uh, visual aspect to the land or the uh, loading platforms so because I'm guessing one loading platform I think there's two one loading platform would go up into the conning tower where this is. The other loading platform would go into the lower deck, you know, where cargo, weapons, ammo, all that stuff would be stored. So that's how we're going to do it up. Okay, so, yeah. The first thing we're going to deal with, it, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be building this way out of order, Okay because of the way I'm gonna to want to do things with this kit. I'm probably gonna work on the whole uh, command deck first. That'll be project one. Getting all these painted up, lit, getting the holes drilled for the lighting, all that sort of stuff. Um, the rest of the pieces I'll go on to as we go along, but that'll be, that'll be step number one. All right, so. For my inbox review, I'm going to say that this is, this is a really nice kit. Um, if you're into this sort of thing like I am, you know, I love the conspiracy theory silliness that exists. You know, the Nazis uh, escaped to Adla or Ala not Alaska, um, Antarctica in New Schwabenland, and... Um, took submarines down there and offloaded equipment and had a UFO base and all that sort of silly stuff. I think it's really cool storytelling. I, I love it. The, um, the movie Iron Sky, I love this stuff. It's just fun. It can be taken too far, don't get me wrong. But this, this is going to be a fun, fun build and we're going to have a lot of fun putting it together. And we're going to do a lot of detail work. We are going to do a lot of weathering. We are going to make this a showpiece. So that's it. Uh, I can't really say much else about this other than I, I can't wait to get started. I'm going to have to order some lights and everything just so we can get going really quick. So um, until next time. Keep building, have a great day, and thanks for watching.